of our generation welcome back to our youtube channel today is the day six of 40 days journey the five previous days have been amazing so let's just start again welcome don't forget to like share and subscribe and of course download the pdf format of the book so i believe your experience to this day have been great and the day six is an amazing day because we're gonna speak about life has a temporary assignment and if you watch the day five you notice that that was our third and last point but we didn't speak much on it so life is a temporary assignment let's read first a bible passage psalms chapter 39 verse 4 nlt says lord remind me how brief my time on earth will be remind me that my days are numbered and that my life is fleeing away so this is david asking the lord to remind him how brief how brief how brief his day on earth would be let's read another thing in psalms 119 verse 19 he says so i'm here on earth for just a little while he recognized that what we see here is just the beginning it's more like an introduction we have to understand that life is a temporary assignment and compared to eternity life is very brief that's one of the things you should know that compared to eternity life is very brief earth is only our temporary residence sometimes you get too comfortable in living in this earth but it's our temporary residence that's why things on this earth will never satisfy us us as christians we should understand that it's more like we are given a green card to live here on earth but that doesn't mean that you belong to this earth you should you you, you should get a spiritual green card to understand that you are here not as a earthly citizen you are either an ambassador or immigrant but you do not belong to this earth that's why this earth doesn't even befriend you you should understand that your identity is eternity and that your house your house land is heaven so when you understand that you still focus on your purpose you still focus on the purpose god has for you and you start to understand that you shouldn't be so attached to things here on earth you shouldn't be so attached to things here on earth but many christians have betrayed their king and their kingdom we forget we forget that this earth is not our final home and we spoke about that in some of the series in one of the series that this earth is not our final home it's not our final destination it's like a tent our final destination is heaven and the lord jesus he said that we shouldn't worry that he would build houses for us if it wasn't like that he would have told us all right so this life on earth is not our home but christians many christians and many people have concluded that this life on earth is their home let me read the bible passage it says friends this world is not your home so don't make yourselves cozy in it don't indulge your ego at the expense of yourself so we should understand that we shouldn't be attached as much as we are here we shouldn't be attached like i'm living i'm studying in russia right but it's not my final destination it's not my home i'm from mozambique i'm a mozambican citizen that's what i should understand and that's what you should understand today that you are your life your life your life your identity is eternity and your homeland is heaven that's why i want you to understand today one your identity is eternity and your homeland is heaven and two earth is not your final home we are created for something greater earth is not our final home and you know it and your spirit knows it that's why no matter how, how many things you acquire you will always be ins insufficient because you are not yet with the all-sufficient god because you are not yet where god wants you to be 
and one thing we should understand is that when you die you are not leaving your home you are actually going to your home so what's the final destination you want to take we fix our eyes on what not on what is seen but on what is unseen for what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal oh for the things that were made were made from things unseen so the things that we see were made from things un unseen and the things that we see they are for a time they are temporary but the things that are unseen they are eternal they are eternal so we should understand that we shouldn't be so pleased with this earthly life that helps you understand your purpose your purpose now won't be chasing money your purpose won't be now uh, chasing or uh, riches your purpose won't be now being maybe the happiest no your purpose will be viewing life from God's view your purpose will align with God's purpose or your purpose will be the purpose God has for you all these things is to teach you not to become so attached like it's more like you have a filthy cloth, you have dirty clothes. I cannot put on you, or God cannot put on you clean clothes before removing the dirty clothes. So all these things we have been learning is to remove all those uh, things you know that to find, to discover yourself, you have to look into your heart that uh, life is a game, is a race, all those things, all these things. We cannot speak about the purpose before removing from your head, from your mind, the things you knew before. We, we have to remove them. We have to make you understand what concepts are biblically right and biblically wrong in order to put whatever God wants to put inside you. So you can walk hand in hand while you achieve the purpose God has for your life. Our point to ponder today is that the word is not my home so we fix our eyes not on the things that are seen but on the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporary but the things that are unseen are eternal that's in second corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 NIV. and now that you know that life here on earth is temporary Maybe you should change the way of living because now you know that this is not all. Any decision you take now will have consequences later or any decisions you take now will influence your future, your eternity life and all. God bless you and I hope you have learned. Let's pray. Father Lord, we thank you for today we have learned that life is temporary and that when we die, our life doesn't end, but our life just begins. We are not leaving our home, but we are going to our home. Please, Lord, help us to have a kingdom mindset in the name of Jesus. Amen.